Get on my way. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And y'all make sure you do it right now. Turn those post notifications on as well so you'll be notified whenever we post another video. Yes, y'all. I promise you we'll make it worth your while. Go ahead and like and subscribe to the page. Also, thanks to our new 1,600 subscribers. Yes, thank y'all so much. Like, we really appreciate you guys. We hope y'all enjoy being a part of the family. Thank y'all so much, and thank y'all for being down with the frown. Hey. Down with the frown. Hey. Down with the frown. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> so today we're gonna be talking about: Is it a fling, or are you getting a ring? We're gonna be talking about ways you can tell the difference in the two. So let's get straight into it. Let's go into it. So um, let's just start with the um, with the question. Okay. So, how did you know? How did you know that it was time? Like, this was the relationship that was it for you, nobody else, for the rest of your life, just me. How did you know? So for me, I would have to say that prior to Kayla and I becoming boyfriend and girlfriend, I really wasn't, I really didn't care about the relationships that I was in before. I really wasn't putting forth any effort. I really didn't care at all, really. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of other guys, we were just playing the game, you know, just talking to someone, having a good time, not really caring about where the relationship ended up or where it was going. So I finally got to a point where when Kayla and I first started talking, everything was just kind of different. Like I could tell that the relationship and just like the foundation of the relationship that she and I had was just different from all the others. Mm -hmm. And- um, I agree with that too. Yeah, and at that point I knew that this was something that, it was kind of like the light bulb went off and I was like, okay, I need to pay attention to this relationship because I'm getting things out of it that I never got before in prior relationships. And it was definitely something for me to like, kind of keep my eyes on because like I said, it was something that I never had before. And I was interested to see where it would take the both of us. Yeah. So I just knew based off the emotion and the feelings that I was getting. Plus, like I said, it was just something completely different. And for that reason alone, I knew for a fact that this was what I wanted. Yeah, I agree with that. I really do, I agree with that. So, um, for me, I think I knew simply because like Brandon said, it was just one of those things like I wasn't getting certain things like me personally, like I was just when Brandon and I first started talking, I think we were both in this phase where it was like there was a there was this connection mm -hmm. like between the two of us, but we still weren't quite sure where we were gonna be or what this was gonna become. And I, I really don't think either of us was really, really expecting, even though he was talking about marriage on our first date. I, I, I was, I was. I don't think that we really both expected it to, um, it to become what it became. Right. So um, I think for me, like once he started to show me things, that, um, that qualities that I would look for if I were to ever look for a husband. Once he started to show me those things, I was like, yeah, this is it. Like, I don't have any question at all about what I wanna do in this situation because this person has already shown me who he is um, through various, throughout various situations. So I just, it was something that you just, you just kinda know. But let's talk about something. Like I just said, Brandon mentioned during our first date like it was the first time we had been talking on the phone and stuff mm -hmm. but it was the first time that he and i had ever been out on a date together and he brought up marriage and mm -hmm. at first i was kind of like what like whoa he just he just said marriage but reflecting back on that i'm so glad that he did because his intentions were were set like from the beginning what he was looking for what he was trying to do that was already on the table when we first had that first conversation so we right. think 
that it's important to um, to know each other's expectations. Like, what is it that you're you're looking for out of this relationship? Like, what is it that you want from this um, from this interaction? Right. Between the two of us. Right. And I agree. I believe that. Not saying you necessarily need to do this on the first date, but I do recommend when you feel like you and that person have gotten an understanding and y'all have gotten to this point where y'all can really talk about a lot of things and have a lot of deep conversations, I would recommend that you go ahead and say, hey, look, like, this is where I am in my life right now. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the things that I would like to have. Take that leap of faith and just, you know, say, hey, look, I want to be married one day. I want to have children one day. Yeah. A lot of people are afraid to have those conversations yeah. early on in a relationship. So that's the time that I believe that you will be able to decide whether or not you want to move forward with this person or not. I mean, there's no need to continue to date and all of this if you want to have children and I don't, or, you know, I want to get married and you don't, then we need to have those conversations pretty early on in the relationship so that nobody's time is wasted. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that, like you said, that's important to talk about early on, even though, you know, at first, some people might feel like that was too early for you to mm -hmm. mention that, but I'm glad that you did mention that because that let me know what your intentions were. Right, you. right. And I think that that's imperative to make sure that you're on the same page. And even though at the time that Brandon mentioned marriage it wasn't something that really he mentioned it but it wasn't like he was like hey will you marry me today it was our first date so of course not but it was something that he was open to and that i was open to as well had it been the right person right so i think that that's extremely important just to make sure you guys are on the same page like it could have been a situation as to where he might have asked me my next relationship i wanted to be my last relationship and you know that's what i'm going for i had the opportunity then to say you know what i'm not really looking for that right now like i'm not really trying to be that serious with anyone at mm -hmm. this point in time so you know he that lets him know where my head is you know yeah. so he has the opportunity to say okay either i want to pursue this with this person or i don't really i'm not really her mindset is not where i need it to be so i'm gonna go ahead and move on you know to someone else right and i mean again just Take that time and get to know the person. Yeah. You know, we're not telling you, hey, just go out there and all of a sudden just start asking, just start throwing out questions like yeah. that. But I feel like when you're comfortable enough with that person and y'all are having deep conversations, then of course, go ahead and ask those difficult questions because, mm -hmm. you know, I know people that are like, hey, I just think it's too early. I don't think that it's a good time or you just kind of want to ride the wave. Yeah, I don't think there's a there's never a perfect time to do any of those things. I feel like it's more of a feeling than mm -hmm. anything else. And just to add a little bit more to this, I feel like it's important to do that simply because if this person does not want what you want, it may just be time to move on. It could be time to go because, I mean, I know dating now is so different. Like, we didn't grow up in this whole dating app age. Mm -hmm. Like, we were already married before right. those things came into play. But still, if I were to be out there and on these apps or whatever, then I still would be very specific about what I want because time is precious. Like, I don't want to waste time right. with someone who doesn't want what I want. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, and that's, that's going even further past that. Like, your expectation for the relationship, but also, what are your expectations of life? Like, what kind of life do you want to live? Mm -hmm. Are you trying to go? Do you have anything going for yourself at this point in time? Mm -hmm. Do you have a vision? Maybe it's not going yet, but do you have a vision in mind for what you want? Like, right. we need to be on the same page on every level what's important to me has to be important to you right. as well right and and i definitely agree with that and again i want to stress this if the person does not want what you want it may be time to move on this person may look dress and act the way that you think that you want your husband or fiance to be yeah. but trust and believe that doesn't mean that that person is the one for you i personally believe that Anybody that you've had a relationship with prior to being with the person that God has made for you, they were all the one for that specific time. Mm -hmm. But the one that you're supposed to be with for the rest of your life is the one that God put here for you. So again, if that person isn't the one, then they're just not the one. 
somebody else is out there for you. So just get back out there, try again, and you'll find that special person. Don't get discouraged just because this person isn't the one, because yeah. the right one is out there for you, trust me. Oh yeah, and y'all, it's so worth it to just be patient mm -hmm. and wait on the right one. Like, I would, I would rather be, I know especially like women, we can get in our own head and we'll be like, man, I'm, I'm this age and this hasn't happened for me yet. Or I'm that age and this hasn't happened for me yet. I know I personally had my little, my timeline, I guess, yeah. of when I wanted things to happen and marriage wasn't even on there for me. But I mean, I knew I wanted to have children one day. Mm -hmm. And you know, women, we have a biological clock and that thing starts ticking and we start thinking, like oh i need to do this now mm -hmm. and so sometimes we'll lower our expectation mm -hmm. just so we can meet our own bar but there's no bar you know if you get married at 21 or if you get married at 28 or if you get married at 38 you know you still got married the important thing is you got married to the right person you can get married young you can get married old if it's not to the right person then it's never gonna work marriage is something that that takes time mm -hmm. that takes dedication it takes two people being on the same page and being willing to fight every single day right i don't like using the term marriage is hard i like using the term that marriage is work like anything that you if you have a if you're if you're an athlete mm -hmm. if you want to become the best athlete you have to work at it so if you you are a spouse you want to be the best spouse mm -hmm. you have to work at that and you have to work at it every single day right you got to wake up with the mentality that hey i'm going to work today and i'm gonna make this person happy today right i'm gonna be what you need me to be today right so again don't be afraid to ask those difficult questions don't be afraid to let your partner know what your expectations are, where you are in life, what do you want, yep. and ask them the same questions because you know y'all have to have some kind of common ground to walk on in order to progress in a relationship anyway. So we're excited about the journey and we're excited about having you guys come along with us. Mm -hmm. So um, we will be back, you know, we'll discuss more of our journey and how we got here and what we're where we're trying to go and what we're trying to do we'll continue to discuss those things throughout and we'll do another video on that yes we will we'll do a real love part two yeah and again we'll be talking about our journey yep. but we will also be throwing out tips and just things that you all yes. should look out for if you're in a relationship or if you're engaged yep. even if you're married we want to have something for everybody out there yeah yeah that's the goal so thank y'all again for being with us today. Thank you for our new subscribers. If you watch this video to the end, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, comment down below. Let us know what your thoughts are. We want all the feedback. Yes, we do. And most importantly, we thank y'all for being... Down with the Browns. Down with the Browns. Down with the Browns. Down with the Browns. Hey! <laughs> thank y'all so much. We'll see y'all soon. Later. Get out my way.